Hello dear friends, in this video I'm gonna catch up you with the new updates of the Navis Works. that in this post I'm gonna cover two features which are newly added to Navis Works. Firstly I wanna talk about separate custom properties and also type properties on elements. It means that if you have created some custom parameters in Revit, while you want to export your file to Navis Works, if you enable the checkbox of separate custom properties, your custom properties will be provided in a separate tab in Navis Works. Therefore, you can organize and control your parameters better. And the second feature which is added to Navis Works is that you're allowed to separate the type properties. I mean, while you export your RVT file to Navis Works, you can display the related type properties of your elements in Navis Works separately. In the continuation, I'm gonna show you these features in my desktop. As I mentioned before, some features have been added to the new version of Navis Works that I'm gonna explain two of them. Especially while you already have an RVT file and want to export it as NWC file type, here I should open Navis Works setting. Here we got some new parameters in Navis Works options editor like embed texture, separate custom properties, and type properties on elements. The first one, which was separate custom properties, which it is enabled by default. And if you fill the checkbox, after that in Revit, in Manage tab, in Project Parameters, if you have created some custom parameters, for example, I add from one, then I specify the data type, text, I assign it to the all of the categories. Then I create another parameter. I mean, these are the custom parameters. Then text as type or whatever. I associate it to the all of the categories. And another parameter, for example, prompt tree. By this way, okay. Right now, here, if we select each of these elements, the added parameters or the custom parameters have you added to them. For example, I select the type of the window. Then I specify A for prompt 1. And then, for example, I specify the value of B for prompt 2. And for prompt tree i specify d for example or c however here's we got some default parameters and during this example i have specified some unconsidered values anyway this was all about the custom parameters the next item which was type properties and elements here if you select each of the objects if you check that option you can export all of the specified parameters which are found in the type properties of each of the element separately to navis forks for example i specify win for model or for URL, you can specify a link address, or you can specify the cost, and so on. Okay, and finally, I want to export my file as NWC file type. Before exporting it, I check the Navis Fork settings. I make sure that these two options are checked, then I save the file. Then I should wait for the process of exporting, and then I open the exported or NWC file in Navis Forks. Well done, the export is completed. I open it in Navis Forks, then from open, I select the exported file and then I click on open. Well done. As I mentioned before, here if I select each of the objects by this way, like the windows, as you can see in the properties dockable window, we can find custom property properties in which you can find the custom parameters, which are displayed in a separate tab. And this is really useful for organizing and managing your properties. And also about the option of type properties and elements, here we can find all of the type properties in the tab of Revit type, as you can see. All in all, these two options, which have been added to the Navis Forks option settings, could be very useful for a BIM coordinator or those who are using Navis Forks in the process of building information modeling. 